Hi guys! This is Unboxing Tech with the new Galaxy S23 FE with me in the color mint. Here she is. And in this video, I'll be checking out the cases and screen protectors from Rinke for this phone. Let's get started! This is the Rinke Fusion. It's a clear hybrid case that has flexible TPU sides and has a hard polycarbonate back. It's perfect to show off the S23 FE's pretty mint color. The case is easy to just snap on and it doesn't require any additional steps to install. And here's how it looks. The super glossy back looks super clean. On the bottom, you can see the perfectly designed cutouts for the speaker and charging port. On the left side is a lanyard hole. On the top, you can see that the SIM card slot is covered up and the microphone also has a cutout to match. On the right side, the Rinke brand logo is very discreetly seen here above the lanyard hole. The power and volume buttons are all covered up by the same TPU material. And if you look, there is an emboss on the power button to help you differentiate between them. The buttons are super easy to press and clicky, by the way. Now, I do have a screen protector on currently, and you can see that the edge is still lifted significantly above the screen on the top and bottom of the device for extra screen protection. Flipping it over to the back, the lift around the camera is surprisingly not that high and is almost level with the camera lenses, although this does provide a cleaner look overall. I do like the individual cutouts for the camera lenses that Rinke does, which keeps true to the minimalistic and natural theme of the Fusion case. One thing I like to warn people about this case though is that while this glossy clear case might look really good at first, they do tend to capture fingerprints and in the wrong circumstances they may yellow as well. If these two points are fatal flaws you can't overlook, I would instead recommend going for the Rinke Fusion in Smoke Black. The slightly darker tint in the frames is a great way to lessen the effects of UV yellowing. Alternatively, if your pet peeve is smudges and fingerprints, I recommend the Rinke Fusion in Matte. The soft matte coating on the back does a great job in reducing the reflection of light on the back, which also lessens the appearance of fingerprints and marks from your phone. If you're not into clear cases, period, Rinke also has the Onyx case available. The Onyx is a complete opaque case made of flexible TPU, so the case itself is super bendy, as you can see. This also makes it very easy to put on the phone. And here's how it looks. You can see the slightly textured back as well. On the bottom, we see the cutouts that are perfectly matched to the speaker and charging port. The left side only has the lanyard hole here with the textured sides. The top is also fully covered up minus the little mic cutout. The right side has the Rinke brand logo and the lanyard hole plus the covered up buttons, which are easy to press. One thing I do love about Onyx case is the easy grip texture on the sides of the case. It's somewhat reminiscent of a knurling which can be found on metal objects for a better grip. As mentioned earlier, the back also has a slight texture on it. Despite how it looks, it's non-abrasive and soft on the skin. On the front, we see the lifted edges on the top and bottom of the case. This provides extra protection for your screen. On the back are these individual cutouts for the camera frame, and they are just about level with the camera lenses. I believe this is more of a stylistic choice made by Rinke for a more even back. So I do recommend the Onyx case for people who want something simple and with a good grip. This is an excellent wallet-friendly case. It comes in this black, or you can also find it in colors like navy, and dark green. I personally like this one the best with the mint. Aside from cases, Rinke also has a tempered glass for the S23 FE. It comes with 9H hardness for scratch resistance, high def resolution, perfect touch precision, 
and anti-chip safety measures if the glass breaks. So let's get this installed! If you don't need the installation part, feel free to skip it using the timestamps. The tempered box comes with everything you need to install, plus two glass screen protectors. First off, we'll use the included cleaning wipe to clean up the screen. Next, use the dust remover tape to pick up any leftover pieces of dust. This is the installation jig that comes with the screen protector. It has two sides for the lightning port and Type-C port. After taking off the top cap, insert in the correct side into your charging port, like so. You'll be lining up the bottom tab on the screen protector with the jig. Go ahead and remove the film over the adhesive and fit the bottom tab onto the jig and replace the cap. Then just let it drop. Overall, the alignment should be centered, so all you need to do is give it a little push to help the adhesive stick. You don't need to worry too much about the bubbles here, so go ahead and remove the top blue layer and use the squeegee to push out the leftover bubbles. Finally, use the microfiber cloth to give the screen protector a polished shine. And here's the final product, super clean with zero bubbles. There is some space left over for cases to fit, and the front camera is covered up and protected as well. As a test, the Rinky Onyx fits perfectly with the screen protector with the near edge-to-edge -edge fit on all four sides. Naturally, it should also fit with other standard size cases. Next, let's check out the functionality of the screen protector. First off, the swipe does work cleanly without any jitteriness or skipping, and it also feels exactly like the natural glass of the phone. The tap and typing function is also smooth and easy, requiring only a light touch. Finally, the quality of the screen through the glass isn't diminished at all, as you can easily see all the little details through the second layer. Overall, this is a good, cost-efficient glass screen protector. And those are all the cases and screen protectors I have for the Galaxy S23 FE. You can find links to all of them in the description box. Thanks for sticking around with me until the end. See you guys next time. Bye!